one of the things that seals the success of Bagration is that there is that they were able to motorize their army level artillery assets. And so they basically, once the initial breakthrough is made, they're able to move this immense siege train through the marshes to seal the to seal the breakthrough and to seal the offensive. This is the 152 millimeter howitzer gun 1937. This is probably the most important high-level Soviet artillery asset. Um, well, same thing before, it's one of the key recipients of, Len of motorization through Lendley's trucks and also Lendley's tractors. And what's interesting is here is actually, it's actually very similar to a lot of American artillery because both the American 155 millimeter, um, the American 155 millimeter gun, which remains the standard American, uh, uh, yeah, the standard American artillery caliber to this day, those guns are all an evolution, all, all from a very, very direct evolutionary line to this original Schneider 155, 152 millimeter piece, which was originally produced for the Russians in 